Thanks for swinging in for a little THG. So today I am finally bringing home my brand new mattress that's going to go on my new bed. It's just flat, so I can make... Oh, it's warped. Yeah, so it's a little warped. Do you want me to turn it over? Once I get it in studs, it's not going to matter. Right. Today's video will be all about how my son has helped me solve the problem of having a sloped floor, which then created a sloped bed in an already very small room that I just couldn't make work. So I've been sleeping on the couch for two years plus a couple months. And um, I finally am getting the bedroom fixed up the way that I'm wanting. I originally didn't think this was going to happen until at least this coming fall. But in the middle of the night, the night before this, I was talking to my son on the phone. And he said, hey, I'm going to be starting my new job soon. If you want this done, let's do it. So the next day we went to the store. And him and his wife and his little boy walked through Lowe's with me. I'll leave a link for Lowe's below. We picked up all of the things that I was going to need to make this bed. And I'll leave a list of everything that we used in the comments section or in the description, I guess. And while we were doing that, Morgan cleaned out my entire room so that it was project ready when we got here. Once we arrived, my son and I carried all of the wood and items that we'd bought from Lowe's and brought it around back. And then he got to measuring and we cut boards to the size that we were gonna need. However, my son suggested that as we do this, because the room is unlevel, on the floor anyway, um, that we build this piece by piece. So we cut the two side boards to start with and um, measured, put them up there, made sure they were level before we went to the next piece of board. Yeah, see how it folds the board? Yeah. That's how you know it's level, or it has a two by four behind it. Oh, that's what it does, huh? Because it'll, yeah, if it's not gripping anything, it'll just spin. It'll just keep spinning. Okay. But where it tugs the board in, it's because it hit the two by four. And two you can see that's perfectly level. All right. Oh, I guess I don't need to hold it anymore, do I? No. Okay. So those um, drill bits that I had purchased uh, when I made my weeding loom, I'll leave a link for that in the description as well, came in very handy for this project. I didn't have to rebuy drill bits I did have to buy some uh, bits, screwdriver bits, so. And my son went ahead and he drilled, pre-drilled every hole and then put in the screws so that um, we didn't have any boards splitting that would compromise the integrity of the structure that we're building because we need this to be top-notch solid what a, the look of a floor can do yep well it's because you're so deep here yeah that it just gives it the appearance of being slow of being slow that is so weird you can hear us discussing how sloped the floor is which was part of what was causing such an issue for me um, the room is already so small there's really pretty much one place to put the bed and nowhere else and the floor was so sloped that every time I went to bed, I would be angled so that I would be, um, pressure was going on, on my head. I was like half upside down. And that was 75% of the issue. So instead of tearing out the whole floor and causing all sorts of chaos, um, it's a bedroom. There's really not a lot more to do with it other than put a bed in it. So we decided to solve that problem by placing the bed on the wall and leveling the boards according to the wall instead of having the bed on the floor. This solved really two problems for the price of one. Not only did it give me a bed that we could level 
and I would no longer be sleeping tilted on my head, but it also gave me very much needed space for storage underneath the bed. And in the end, this has turned out better than I could have ever imagined. My son was absolutely magnificent. He was brilliant while he was building this bed. And from the time we started in the store picking up the items until him and his wife and his little boy went home, it took us approximately five and a half hours from start to finish. As we got further along in the project, I realized how smart it was on Tanner's part to build this bed piece by piece instead of pre-building and then putting it up on the wall. And that's because everything was so off measurement. Um, when going kitty corner from one corner to the other, it was as much as two and a half inches off. And then going from side to side on the corners, it was an inch and a half off. And then going straight from corner on one side was, uh, I believe, an inch. And then the other side was three quarters of an inch. Anyway, that's insane that the floor was that sloped. We had somebody come and look under our house to make sure that the floor was not falling in and there was no rotted wood or rotted beams. Everything under there had been replaced. It looked great. They actually said it looked really, really well done and put together and that it was fairly new. So we knew that that had been redone recently. But it's an older house and older homes have sloped floors. That's just how it goes. And unless you want to do a whole structural rebuild, you have to learn to work around that. 31 and a quarter. Okay. So I need to cut a post. 31 and a quarter. Okay. So and then they just got loose. Yeah, they're out. Yeah. All right, you want to just step on that for a second. So piece by piece, measurement by measurement, and board by board, my son put my bed together with very little of my help. And that was just so impressive to me and my heart was so happy. When we first started this project, I really thought this was gonna take a week or two to do. I mean, I would have never been able to do it to this quality, but especially in this amount of time, my goodness. But he is super good with math, measurements, all that kind of thing. So doing this with him he just knocked this right out and I just couldn't have been happier working side by side with my son as we did this bedroom project of mine. Don't worry, you won't hit my hands. And, well, I guess, hold up. Where's the level? I wanna make sure I keep this side level. Okay. Yep, that's where I need to be. So let me push this down. No, I can't see the depth. Is that too high? Or yeah, is it about perfect? It's, no, it's still too high. Okay, it's, it's almost. Oh, that's perfect. Is that okay? Yeah, that's... It was really important here that, and I didn't realize this, but we had to account for the carpet, um, the thickness of the carpet. So he knew that once we got all this weight on the bed, that it would sink down. And if we didn't um, make sure everything was tightened up perfect and... Um, done about an eighth of an inch longer, the bed would be ending up sloping again. So that's why you saw him pressing down on the one corner while I went ahead and screwed a uh, screw into the pre-drilled holes. Then he went to the other end and we added the other sideboard. 
Now, I am not good at carpentry, carpentry skills. I am not good with math or measuring or cutting. So don't take any of the measurements you hear me talking about as um, any kind of a laid out plan for you. I would suggest if you have an older home, put your bed together piece by piece, starting with the one sideboard and build from there. That seems to have worked absolutely fabulous in this case. My original idea was to take in some measurements and have Lowe's pre-cut all of my lumber. And my son said, no, 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 you don't want to do that. I, I have an idea. You just leave it up to me. You got to trust me. And so that's what I did. And he was absolutely right. I'm so glad we did not do it that way. I'm so glad that... Um, he knew what he was doing. As you can see, um, on these big corner posts, my son decided that um, to, to make sure these were stable, we, our screws needed to be a little bit longer and we didn't have longer screws. So he used the largest drill setting, drilled a hole about three quarters of the way through the post, and then um, he brought out the screw and put on this little attachment on the uh, drill and was able to screw the screw in and it was three quarters of the way already through the board and then it went all the way through the second board and into the wall stud. That was a great idea. I would have never thought of something like that. But um, that prevented us from having to get longer screws or bolts. And the end result, this bed has been absolutely incredibly solid. There is no squeaks or any kind of compromised attachments at all. It is absolutely a solid bed. Then next we put in the um, boards in between that will hold the, um, the solid piece that we put underneath the mattress area where the mattress is going to sit. So we put in all the two by fours there and again, my son pre-drilled holes and he went in a diagonal fashion so that um, that would help give even more stability and it would get our screws into um, the boards without us having to use those uh, metal attachments. So I thought that was yet another grand idea. Next came the large board I was just talking about, the flat board that goes over the whole top, kind of like a tabletop. And there you can see it from underneath. All of the two by four um, are in there and we do have some braces in between the two by fours. And then he went ahead, screwed the top down and then he was gonna cut it. At first he tried to cut it with that saw, but that wasn't working very well. And because it's a thinner board, um, we didn't have the right um, toothed saw on our electric one. So he just used um, a really sharp razor, razor blade and um, I didn't think that this really thin piece was gonna work, but this has worked absolutely perfect. Basically, all it was was to give a little bit of extra support for the mattress. And so he went ahead, sat it on there, and he wanted to cut it as it was on there so that it fit it perfectly. He screwed it all down, and then he went through and cut it. If you decide to use a really thick piece, then um, a razor blade isn't gonna work. But in this case, it was more like the thickness of paneling or something like that. And it gave it a nice, smooth 
finish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the bottom? Yep. Yep, okay. Do you need help? Yeah, you want to help me put your piece on? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Slide it on, slide it up. Oh my gosh! Yep. There you go. It's so perfect. That's oh. high, dude. We're going to need steps. I, I know. How am I going to get on it? <laughs> About a week has gone by, and I finally found the under the bed storage that I was looking for on classifieds in our uh, on our Facebook classified. So I went and picked it up and you can see it's a couple of cubbies and some solid drawers and um, and then cubbies underneath the bed. So finally I have the storage in my room that I have needed so badly. So today I spent the rest of the day putting everything together and cleaning it and then uh, unpacking boxes that have been packed for two and a half years waiting for this moment. It was so fun to put all my wool supplies from my sheep's wool into the um, designated area for that getting it all organized, seeing the things that I've missed for the last couple of years. It was an awesome feeling being able to finally get things cleaned up and put together. Eventually, I am going to make a new quilt out of the linen that you just saw me fold. I'm going to paint the posts on my bed and do something clever with these cubbies and shelves and drawers that'll really look awesome. But for now, a good cleaning and just getting myself unpacked and in my house after two and a half years, it's been the most incredible experience. I found a couple of things that brought back good memories. And again, it's those little things in life that make the biggest difference. My son offering to do this in the middle of the night, and 24 hours later, I had a bedroom. So thank you, Tanner. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Morgan, for helping this happen. I really enjoyed um, cleaning my room and putting everything together today. So many wonderful things can happen just because of the kindness of other people. And this was a wonderful moment for me. A moment that has been needed. I've been really desperate to have a bedroom. Now, the next step is going to be building a staircase or a ladder that will be um, safe and not too big and bulky and just serve my purpose to be able to get into bed easily. And that will be my next step. Then after that, I will be working on um, decorating the walls, putting up pictures and things like that. But for now, this is just amazing. It's just like heaven. And uh, I'm so glad I went and got a new mattress to go on top of my bed. And it took a little bit of finagling. I ended up using another little air mattress underneath that mattress. And it did make the bed a little bit taller, but it gave the spring and the bounce in my bed that I really like. So I got that down. I loved polishing my um, very special chair that I got from the professor friend that I had. It's a beautiful rocking chair. It's one that he gave me when he moved out of his home. He had lived in his home over 50 years. I had been his housekeeper for several years and he gave me this as a gift.
So far, this is what the finished product look, looks like up to this point. Everything has a place now. I have a nice, solid, comfy bed. I'm just tickled pink. It's these small things in life, these little moments that just make you so grateful that really bring the biggest treasures into your world, into our world. So look for those little moments, moments that you may need help or moments that you can help somebody else because you may just be the answer to their prayers. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the like button and share this video and leave a comment below if you have a made to fit bed or if you've ever experienced sloped floors in your older homes. How have you dealt with it? How have you found a way around it to make it work without breaking the bank? I'm so grateful for all this extra storage. It was like building a closet and a bed all in one. As I make the new quilts and the new bedding and the new wall hangings, I'll keep you updated. Thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day.